Little Tizzle. Loved your video, Little Tizzle. Loved it. You are in the contest. Dinger in the house. That a boy. Welcome in, welcome in. Tuesday morning, we'll start in four minutes. Welcome everybody. Big day, big day this afternoon at the Sandlot. We've got a gold medalist uh, teaching me how to pitch Amanda Feed, and we've got Tuesday trivia uh, at five Pacific as well. As Ryman has checked in with pancakes. Way to go, Carter. Way to go, buddy. Welcome in everybody. Mustache salute. We will get going in three minutes. As I play the Rod Carew drum. Why is it the Rod Carew drum? Because he signed it. He signed it. You want to dance? Baby ball game, getting going, loosening up. start in two minutes. Who else is checking in? Billy D in the house. Nate's in the house. Fishman. Welcome, Mark, Justin, Dave, Gary. Knott's Berry Farm is in the house. Double bicep salute. All right. All right. Baby ball game is out here with me. She is crawling around like a roly poly, just getting herself loose. in 30 seconds folks 30 seconds you can see baby ball game has already begun her workout john carlos stanton in the house jacob cleaver is in the house libby's in the house welcome double bicep salute eye black salute mustache salute soto is in the building beard salute triple bicep quadruple bicep eagle Scholar salute if somebody's being real smart. Bounce back salute if somebody gets gets up after they fell down. And if you're very kind, say when somebody strikes out, you pat them on the back. Sportsmanship salute. Very nice. Let's start marching. Start the march. Knees high. It's 9 o'clock on a Tuesday, noon Eastern. You're in the central time zone. It's 10. If you're in the mountain time zone, it's 11. We're marching right here with baby ball game and bitty ball game. Let's give them an add a girl. One, two, three. 
at a girl. And three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Sniff your armpits. Let me know what your armpits smell like. Mine smell like spaghetti and meatballs. Mine smells like, uh, it smells Valentine's like Day. Mine smells like cereal. Ooh, bitty ball game smells like cereal, and baby ball game smells like Valentine's Day. Touch your toes, and don't pick that nose. Try to keep your legs nice and straight. That's it. And spread it out wide. This is class number 47. Sniff your left kneecap for the 47th time. That's it. My left knee, it just constantly smells like cat food, which is weird because we don't have cats. Switch! Right kneecap. Mine smells like a baby nut because I want a baby. Oh. Baby ball games, right knee smells like a baby mouse, side to side. Because I want a baby mouse. She wants a baby mouse for a pet. Fantastic. Picking strawberries, ready, exercise. One, two, three. 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 On your bee honkus, butterflies. Butterflies. I've gotten some great submissions already for the ball game bomb challenge where you swing a bat and then you do a dance. Pretty epic. So far, dance videos have come in from L. Tizzle, Water Slide, Baseball Boy, Pickle, Penguin, Batman, and Lando. Round of applause for them. If you'd like the chance to win a brand new bat, then send me your dance video. Swing the bat and do a dance. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. Outstanding. and get that chest all the way down as far as it'll go. Try to keep the legs straight. And go a little further than you did yesterday. Get a little more flex. Nice. To the other foot. As baby ball game doing the splits. Way more flexible than coach ball game. Go a little bit further, and both phalanges. Phalanges touching phalanges. Great band. And modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my, lanta. That's right. And hug that knee in. Say, I love you, knee. We at the Coach Ball Game PE class, we love our patella. Switch. Love the patella. That's another good band. Phalanges meet phalanges and love the patella. I was actually in a band in middle school, my first band, and guess what our name was? Bacon, egg, and cheese. That's right. Hug that other knee in. I love you too, knee. Back in the early 90s, that's the best we could come up with at Southeast Randolph Middle School. <laughs> Me, Kyle McKenzie, we were bacon, egg, and cheese. Downward facing dog. That's it. And upward facing dog also known as the cobra. A cobra is something that a mongoose eats. Who knew that? Half moon. That a girl. And to the other side, half moon. That's it. And to the feet, we're running in place. The hustle salute. When somebody hustles real fast, we go real fast as well. Go faster. Go faster and freeze. Go faster. Freeze. Go faster and freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Super Henry is in the room. Welcome. Welcome. Let's twist those trunks. Don't forget to check in with your nickname. That way I know who's here. I'll try to rattle off all your nicknames. 
uh, during class. Hug yourself. Move your neck around. Deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out your mouth. Flamingo stretch. Trivia is tonight, 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. And my co-host is last week's winner, Sevy Lee. Atta boy, Sevy Lee. Um, whoever wins tonight gets to host with me next Tuesday. That's how the Tuesday trivia works. Switch! Sevy Lee uh, has been FaceTiming his grandpa asking trivia questions, and that's how he won last week. He's been practicing his trivia since he can't play baseball this season. Ten. Jumping jacks. Ready. Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Team meeting pose, folks. On one knee, get the bee honkus up nice and high, far away from the foot. Imagine there's a beehive on your foot, and you don't want to get stung on the honkus by a beehive. Shoulders back, chest out, chin up. Uncomfortable eye contact. Let's have a staring contest for 10 seconds. If you speak, you lose. If you burp, you lose. And stop. Nice job. We're going to go 60 second jog on your marks. Get set. Go. 60 second jog. How's the YouTube? Uh, can everybody see? We have a comment on Instagram that the YouTube is freezing. So uh, I, I'll do my my daily how's the YouTube feed. Just let me know. Thumbs up. That way we can let you know, Brandy. Because I will restart it if need be. As we go 60 seconds of running. Nolan Ryan Jr. checking in. Love it. YouTube is good in North Carolina. Okay. YouTube is good in Los Angeles. YouTube is good in Missouri, Connecticut, and uh, Costa Mesa. So I'm wondering, maybe restart your router, Brandy. Sometimes uh, you have issues with YouTube if maybe your router needs to, your wireless router. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Awesome. Once again, these are the seven names that have done the ball game bomb challenge where you swing a bat, woo, and then you do a dance. Something like that right there. And you post that video uh, on Instagram and you tag me. If you don't want your video to be public and some don't, that's fine. Just email me that. And you will enter into the competition as well. El Tizzle, epic video. Water slide, baseball boy, pickle, penguin, Batman, and Lando. So you get a bat, and I'm going to be throwing in a T-shirt as well. So there's going to be some epic prizes. Um, so do it. Post a video of you swinging a bat and then doing a little dance. All right? Make sure you tag me. Tag Bomb Bats. And then the hashtag is super important. Hashtag ball game bomb challenge. Cool. Set up eight cones or eight socks in a straight line. We're going to do our zigzags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like this. And the first thing we're going to be doing, guys, is just zigzagging through each of our cones or our socks or whatever you've got down all right i'll give you another 20 seconds to make sure you got that set up john carlos stanton's in the house caleb's in the house the clinks are in the house hopefully they'll make it this afternoon by the way three o'clock pacific six eastern every day sandlot we've got an olympic gold medalist joining us today amanda freed she's in the ucla hall of fame She's going to teach me how to pitch underhanded. Pretty epic. Um, so, you know, if you want to learn from an Olympic gold medalist, then you should tune in today at the Sandlot. Here we go. On your marks. 
Get set, everybody. Go. Zigzag. 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 Five burpees. Up and down. 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 Now punches across. Punch, 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 punch. Ten of them. Six, seven, eight, nine. Water break. I love it. Chinese Tucker's in the house. Lucas Haynes in the house. Penguin, Pickle, the Clink family, the Walsh family, Super Henry, Bike Rider checking in, Little Tizzle. And Little Tizzle invited her friend. Let's go sportsmanship salute. Little Tizzle got her friend to join uh, in the uh, class today. So we will also be talking baseball today. Had a question about Sandlot. Is it all softball? I'm also going to talk about the crossovers, like what's a crossover between baseball and softball, which is a lot. How to field the ball, how to hit the ball, how to throw the ball. Um, but I also want to learn how to pitch like that. And uh, Amanda Free did that in the pros, did that in Japan, did that in the Olympics. I mean, she's in the UCLA Hall of Fame with Jackie joyner Kersey and uh, Troy Aikman and Natasha Watley. Pretty epic stuff. So let's give her an Atta Girl one, two, three. Atta Girl, Amanda Freed. Side note, she was Mrs. Ballgame's roommate in college. All right, back to the action. Set number two. Let's go, Super Henry. Let's go, Soto. On your marks, get set, go. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Five burpees. These are the toughest things we do right here. We used to call them up-downs at Eastern Randolph football practices. Up-downs. And five. And the punches. Ten. Nine, two. One. And water break. Very nice. Back in the high school football practices, we'd have all our pads on, and we'd be running in place as fast as we could. And whenever the coach would blow the whistle, beep, we had to do an up-down. And then we'd keep going, beep, and have to do another up-down. Oh, those are tough. Those are very tough. Wow. Uh, it's too fey. The Chinese, uh, Chinese Tuckers invited his whole class. Sportsmanship salute. Way to go. Love it. Just to get your minds going, we do have a trivia contest tonight, 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern, Instagram Live, at Coach Ball Game. Who can tell me the Major League Baseball player that had the most runs batted in in the 1990s? That question might come up tonight. What player has the most RBIs in the 1990s? Back to the action. Ooh, I saw a Brad Pitt salute right there from the Firestones. Brad Pitt salute. All right, set number three, zigzags, burpees, and punches. Go. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag, zigzag, up and down, up and down. Five of these. And the punches. Why are we doing this? Because we want to get stronger and we want to be more awesome. And the next time we try out for our athletic team, we want everybody to say, oh, my Lanta, look at that guy's muscles. Look at her muscles. Look how fast she is. Water break. Deep breaths. I have not seen the correct answer yet. This was a toughie. This took me like 
a good 20 minutes to find this answer out this morning. Whew. Deep breath in through the nose, you should be out of breath. Especially you, Giancarlo Stanton, if you beat me. Very good. Let me do one quick try at my, uh, love the hat, Ricky. Love it. Judge Jr.'s in the house. Super Henry, Pickle, Penguin, Nolan Ryan Jr., Little Tizzle, Bike Rider. We got Billy D. We got Chinese Tucker. We've got Dinger, Firestone, Soto. Oh, man, who am I missing? Who else is in the house today? Mom and Dad, Knott's Berry Farm, Rye Man. Yep. And keep checking in with your nicknames so I get all the nicknames. If I didn't say it, let me know because I want to try to get everybody's nickname by the end of class. It is not Barry Bonds. It is not Frank Thomas. Back to the action. Okay, now it's frog jumps. You've got frog jumps whoop, across all eight cones. Ready, go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Karaoke side to side. Karaoke. Right behind, right in front, right behind. Left behind, left in front, left behind. Can you do it with me? Carry Oki time and speedy jumping jacks. Boop, boop. Ten of them. Very nice. Get that water break after you're done with that tenth jumping jack. Speedy's in the house. Cecil Fielder's a great guess. Incorrect. I actually thought it was Barry Bonds, but it's not. King Griffey Jr. Excellent guess. Not correct. King Griffey Jr. is second. In case you're wondering, what is that karaoke thing? It's a quickness drill where you take your right foot in front and then you take it behind. All right? And then if you go the other direction, you go left in front, left behind. Just like that. Any other nicknames that I did not name off? Yes, Simulation Pilot and Baby Killer Whale are in the house. And we'll see you later today for your school's PE. I do a Zoom PE um, for his school. Little Tizzle's in the house. That's right. Okay. Let's do it again. It's not Cal Ripken Jr. It's a toughie. Our trivia question that stumped everybody so far, who had the most RBIs in the 1990s? Back to the action. I'm surprised our co-host, Sevy Lee, does not have the correct answer yet. On your marks, get set, frog jumps. Froggy, ribbit, 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 ribbit. All right, karaoke, across, and the other way, across. And you do five of these. That's three. This is four and five. Karaoke. And now speedy jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Water break. It's not Hank Aaron. 1990s. Oh. First one to get it right was Mr. Firestone. Albert Bell. How'd you find that out, Mr. Firestone? I got to know. It took me a while to figure it out. But that might be a 10-point question tonight during our trivia contest. Most runs betted in in the 1990s. You could argue Albert Bell was the most feared hitter in the 1990s. Look at his numbers. Oh, unbelievable. Now, Cecil Fielder had the most RBIs three years in a row, which was epic. Andres Galarraga had it twice. But the top five are Albert Bell, Ken Griffey Jr., 
Juan Gonzalez, uh, Barry Bonds, and I'm forgetting the fifth right now, but it might be uh, Mark McGuire. All right, very good. Here we go, here we go. On your marks, frog jumps, get set, go. Frog, 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 frog. Karaoke. This is how you're going to steal more bases this year. This is how you're going to uh, score more points in basketball, score more goals in soccer. It's like doing this drill right here. Stay on your toes. Keep your head still. And jumping jacks. Who made it to the sandlot yesterday? One of the best sandlots we've had all year. Very good. Coach Duke Baxter taught us how to field a ground ball like a pro. It was epic. If you need to watch the replay, it's on my YouTube. But if you want to get better at defense, as far as baseball goes, watch that. Outstanding. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And for those of you that are doing this workout like Super Henry, and Super Henry just tied me, Simulation Pilot, Baby Killer Whale, Knott's Berry Farm, all of you, I got to give you a double bicep salute. Great job. All right. We are now on to Can You Beat Coach Ball Game. Trash can in the middle. And your four bases. Home, first, second, third. That's it. We got home. We got first. We got second. And we got third. But before we start that, grab your sock or your tennis ball. And we're just going to do this little th drill right here. We did this in Sandlot yesterday. We're gonna pass the ball back and forth like this. We did this drill. Giancarlo Stanton, Judge Jr. We did this drill yesterday during... Our sandlot teaches us how to exchange the ball quickly, just like that. Back and forth, back and forth. That's it, Nolan Ryan Jr. Good job, Super Henry. Good job, Billy D, Keegan Garrison, SK2, Chinese Tucker, Firestones, Knott's Berry Farm, Lil Tizzle. Good job, Dinger, Ryman, Bike Rider, Simulation Pilot, Baby Killer Whale. Good job, Judge Jr., and stop. Very nice. Very nice. Great little thing you can do by yourself. And what it does is it teaches you how to catch the ball and then put it in your throwing hand super quick. Quick hands. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So the first round today is floss dances. Each time your hips go through your hands is one and you've got to do 10. That's two. That's three. 10 at each base, and don't forget to shoot your basket. Type the word done when you're done. Can you beat Coach Ball Game? On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three. Good thing my shirt's tucked in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend my knees, shoot the shot. Very good. Go to first base. Boop, boop, hoo, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have any fast floss dancers out there? Pickle and Penguin are pretty fast. Four. That's it. And last base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hit. And anybody beat me? Dinger beat me. Judge Jr. beat me. Super Henry tied me. Knott's Berry Farm. Way to go. Oh, my Lanta. Remind me of that nickname, Jess. What's that nickname, Jess E.M.? Whoever that is, you beat me. Yeah. 
Giancarlo Stanton. Got to remember that. Giancarlo Stanton is Jess. Oh, Chinese Tucker beat me. Nolan Ryan Jr., he beat me, and now he's got to go to, uh, to do his Zoom class for school. Scholar salute. Good job, Nolan Ryan Jr. Oh, bike rider needs a push. So, folks, bike rider's feeling a little tired today. He needs a little pump up, kind of like Judge Jr. the other day. What can we do to fire up bike rider? How about an attaboy? One, two, three. Attaboy! Let's all tuck our shirts in. Maybe if he tucks his shirt in, he'll do a little bit better. And let's give him an eye black salute and a round of applause. Come on, bike rider. You got this. You can do it. All right, all right. Okay. Next round. Um, next round, we're going to go karate kicks. And you got to alternate feet. And we'll do 10 of those at each base. But your foot has got to get all the way up to your chin. On your marks, get set, go. 10 kicks. Right, then left. Foot high as the chin. Yeah. And then we shoot. 10. Right, and then left. Come on, Soto. Come on, Judge Jr. Simulation pilot, baby killer whale. Come on, Dinger, El Tizzle, Giancarlo Stanton, Billy D, Knott's Berry Farm, and 10. That's it, Super Henry. Come on, Pickle and Penguin, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Good job, Giancarlo Stanton. Whew. Those are some high kicks. Uh, the answer, uh, if you missed it, to our trivia question was Albert Bell. Albert Bell. Giancarlo Stanton beat me. Billy D got me. Oh, way to go. Get that water. Soto got me. A little tizzle. Great job. Ryman got me. Way to go. All right. Very nice. Getting beat. Getting beat. Okay, last one. Last one. And this one is going to be the take me out to the ball game round where you've got to sing take me out to the ball game at each base oh yeah while you're doing uh jumping jacks how about that so take me out to the ball game take me out to the crowd buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks that whole song while you're doing jumping jacks at each base on your marks get set go Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back or it's root for the home team. They don't win. It's a shame. Four, it's one, two, three, six, you're out of the old ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back or it's root for the home team. They don't win. It's a shame. Four, it's one, two, three, six, you're out of the old ball game. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. I don't care if I ever get back for his roots. For the home team, they don't win as a shame. For one, two, three, six, you're out of the old ball game. Oh, man, I missed. I got to shoot again. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back for his roots. Move for the home team. They don't win as a shame. For it's one, two, three, six, you're out of the old ball game. Did anybody beat me? Little Tizzle. Dinger. And I think it's a good idea. We're going to call that one the seventh inning stretch. Uh, and that was a fun one right there. Giancarlo Stanton beat me. Now, you definitely have to know the words to the song to beat me at that one. If you don't know the words, go learn it.
written by Jack Norworth, a guy that had never been to a baseball game. He wrote that song uh, on a subway in New York. Pretty cool story. Way to go, Chinese Tucker beat me as well. You can clean up your area uh, and then go do your two minutes of what a ball player does activity. On the back end of that, we've got our seven. And I've got my color pencils and my graph ready for our seven uh, exercises. On your marks, get set, go. Let me know what you're doing for your two minutes of what a ball player does activity, are you? Washing the dishes, making your bed, cleaning up your toys. What are you doing? The reason we call this what a ball player does activity is we as ball players are a little different. As the Nichols family's watching, at a girl lens, mustache salute. When everybody else is being lazy and maybe disrespectful, a ball player is uh, energetic. They're helping mom and dad out around the house. We're ball players. It's a certain code. Um, Soto's making his bed. Wonder what the Firestones are doing. Wonder what Super Henry's doing. Judge Jr. Josh Rich. Wonder what little Tizzle's up to. What about you, Rye Man? What are you up to? Knott's Berry Farm. Firestone fam. What about you there, Dinger? Bike rider. You feeling any better? Ooh, garbage duty for Judge Jr. I like that. What are you doing, Billy D? What are you doing, Pickle and Penguin? You got 30 seconds left. Super Henry cleaned up his toys. Little Tizzle is uh, cleaning off the counter. Chinese Tucker making the bed and cleaning. Outstanding. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Billy D made some coffee. Wow, how about that? Uh, get your ball out. And... Show me your graphs. If you've been doing your graphs, show me. All right, I want to see it. Ryman made the bed, bike rider, practicing the golf swing, doing a little bit better now. Way to go. All right, I've got my seven different colors here uh, for my line graph that I'm creating. First one is high five this guy. On your marks, get set, go. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Challenge yourself. Continue to grow. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty seconds left. Thirty nine, forty. My arms getting a little tired. And stop. I got forty three. Forty three. Now my high five the sky drill. I uh. I have in pink. I have my pink marker. And this is day number three. This is April 28th. So high five the sky. I had 30 the last two days. That one I got 43. So you can see my my pink line here has really spiked up. I really got after it there. Outstanding. By the way, the number 43, what race car driver, very famous race car driver was number 43? Hmm, there's a trivia question. Wall drill, wall drill, on your marks, get set, go. I'm 
alternating hands, barehanded today. Catching it with my left and catching it with my right. My hands and my eyes are working together. Coordination. Class number 47. You guys have any ideas of what we can do on Friday? It'll be class number 50. We're going to celebrate somehow, some way. And stop. We are celebrating on Friday, class number 50. If you guys have any great ideas for how we can do that virtually, let me know. All right. My wall drill is in dark blue. And I also got five more today than yesterday. So there's another line that is spiking. Outstanding. Okay, alligator time. Alligator time. If you showed up at the Sandlot yesterday, man, oh man, did we have a great, uh, great session. And I want to show you something. Our special guest from yesterday, he put a bucket lid on his back because when you field the ball, you want to have a straight back. You don't want to have an arched back like this, right? You want to bend your knees and have a straight back like this whenever you're fielding the ball. So I'm going to try to keep this bucket lid on my back as I do the alligator drill on your marks. By the way, man, nobody in the world is getting this kind of information uh, except you kids because you showed up. Epic. Go. One. Two. Soft hands. Soft hands. Oh, man. It's really hard when I move my feet to keep this bucket lid on my back. Soft hands. See it all the way in. Oh. Oh, the bucket lid fell off. Keep going on that alligator drill, guys. Alligator. Oh, it's wanting to fall. That must mean my back is arching a little bit. Let you see it from the side here. Ten seconds remaining. Ten seconds. Bucket lid drill. Great drill there for my infielders. Welcome in, RJ. Welcome in, Nate. Welcome in, Justice. Andrew, stop. Jot that number down. For me, the alligator is dark green. I got two more today than yesterday. So again, I connect my dots. Boom. And I'm on the rise. Everything is on the rise. And if any of you have been graphing your data and then sent your graph into your math teacher, Scholar salute to you. Number four is soccer juggling. Get your soccer ball out. If you don't have a soccer ball, use a sock. Everybody's got a sock on your marks. Get set. Go. See how many you can get in a row. One, two, three. Ah. Mm. Six, that's my record. Twenty five seconds remaining. Ten seconds. Oh. And stop. Very good. Um, so for soccer, it's red. And I've stayed the same the last three days. So if your number has stayed the same on your graph, 
It's just going to stay flat. That's a flat line. It hasn't spiked up, uh, but that's okay. I'm getting better at that drill. Somebody asked if you don't have a bucket lid for that ground ball drill we were just doing, what can you use? Maybe a hat. Put a hat back there. Anything that's sort of flat, uh, you don't want it to fall off. Welcome in, Bobby and Harrison Green. Double bicep salute. Number five is the figure eight. I'm going basketball. On your marks, get set, go. Let's go Soto, Pickle, Penguin, Billy D, Blue Jays fan, Dinger, Lil Tizzle, Bike Rider, Judge Jr., Super Henry, The Usual Suspects. Come on, John Carlos Stanton. Same thing here. You could use a bucket lid right here as well. I could do this drill with a hat or a lid on my back. All right, work on that straight back posture. I talk about a kangaroo in your pouch. You don't want that baby Joey to fall out of your pouch either. Flat back. That means your B-honkus is low to the ground. You bent your knees. Just like that. Ten seconds to go. Great drill. Three, two, one, and stop. My figure eight is in blue. Figure eight in blue. Same today as yesterday. Boom. All right, number six, hula hoop. Hula hoop time. I'm going to use a football for my hula hoop. You can use a tennis ball or a sock or whatever you want to. Uh, welcome in there, Gabe. Welcome into the PE class. Try to do the drills we're doing. On your marks, get set, go. Around the rosy. Shirt's got to be tucked in for this. As fast as you can. Pass it around. Halfway through, we're going to switch directions, Judge Jr. Super Henry. Lindsey Nichols. And switch directions. That's it, Ryan. Man. Little Tizzle. Good job, Dinger and Soto. Good job, Firestone. That's it, Bike Rider. Come on, Billy D. And stop. Excellent job. Write it down. How'd you do? And our last one is Mr. Ping Pong. If you don't want to go ping pong, you can go volleyball. All right, you can go volleyball. And I am going to go volleyball with my soccer ball. Okay, so you can either go wooden spoon with the balled up piece of paper or the sock, or you can go right here. On your marks, get set, go. Last drill of the day. You made it. Bend those knees if you're going volleyball. Stay in control. The key is control here. It's not how high you can hit it. It's like playing catch with a partner. It's not all about how fast you throw, but how many catchable balls can you throw. That's the key. It's called catch. This is called volley right here. Wow, nice job, Knott's Berry Farm. Way to go. Good job, Speedy. Good job, Pickle and Penguin. Yep. Fifteen seconds remaining. There are a couple others that their YouTube just uh, doesn't like them, and uh, it, it, I'm guessing it's just the speed of the Wi-Fi. Maybe you're not able to stream video feed uh, fast enough. So maybe you want to call your internet connector there, Penguin and Pickle. And stop. Very good job. Um, but yes, during this quarantine, high-speed internet and being able to stream a live video is super important. So that may be a, a worthwhile investment. Gang, excellent job. Uh, keep sending me in those videos of you swinging a bat, boom, and then dancing with the hashtag ball game bomb challenge. 
and you might win a bat, right? There's also a shirt that's going to be given away as well. So, hey, it's fun. So post the videos, show up to the Sandlot today for Amanda Freed, gold medalist, and show up at five tonight for trivia with Sevy Lee. If you win the trivia contest tonight, you get to host with me next Tuesday night. Cool? Uh, throw any questions at me uh, that you might have um, as you check out. Ryman, Penguin and Pickle, El Tizzle, uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Hey, Altuve's in the house. Welcome. I didn't even know you were watching there, Altuve. Oh, yes. And so uh, Sandlot, we're not charging anymore for. It's just donation-based. So as you can see, I've pinned the comment. Um, Venmo, uh, thanks for supporting. Can't afford it. But if you can't afford it, don't give. Okay, that's not what it's about. If you can't afford it, thank you, uh, Venmo or Zelle. But, yeah, we're not charging for this class or for Sandlot. All right? They're free classes with donations if you can. That's just how we're doing it. Um, and thank you to those that have been able to support and have. Again, my mom mailed five, a five dollar bill for the sixth week in a row. Let's give her an add a girl. One, two, three. Add a girl. Thank you, mom. Um, we're gonna we're we're gonna celebrate that. That's thirty dollars right now. All five dollar bills. It's pretty cool. Um, any equipment uh, for PE today? Oh yeah. Uh, you'll be good. Same thing as usual. Same thing as usual, simulation pilot. Um, yeah, so basically people have been just giving five bucks, Ryan, man, five bucks uh, uh, if you can. Uh, so I'm not putting an exact number on it, but uh, that's kind of a good round number. But, I mean, especially the Sandlot, there's a new guest every day, gold medalist, Major League Baseball player, Wednesday, Major Leaguer, Thursday, Major Leaguer, Friday, guy who pl is playing Minor League Baseball for the Brewers. So you're getting a lot of great guests. And um, and get your sisters to watch today because Amanda Freed is going to teach me how to pitch. Whew. Like a gold medalist. Pretty cool. Uh, she played with Jenny Finch and Jessica Mendoza, Natasha Watley. They were all on that same gold medalist team. You got it, Billy D. Um, thank you all for joining. Great little tizzle. You'll love it. You'll love it because we're going to talk hitting as well. She was a good shortstop. She was a good outfielder. She was a pitcher. So it's going to be super cool for boys and girls. Um, awesome. Any other questions from anybody? All right, Wolf, we'll see you guys later. You got it, Soto. Bye-bye, Dinger. Boys and girls. Um, Knott's Berry Farm, good job. Thumbs up. Class is over. And Altuve, great to see you. Great to see you at the PE class. Awesome, folks.